in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make some really thick, fat, awesome, deep dub sounds with just using a sine wave. I don't want to stick around for this. break it down for you real quick just a simple nice little lfo nice little reefer was pretty much cranked all the way to the end it literally is so so and then the resonance is on 35 have the master on the sound all the way up there's a bunch of fx things here which are pretty much just effect doors for just different varieties of sound um so if i turn this up so i'll get into that later without using ott the sine wave method isn't really gonna work T with maybe whatever gain you want, but the depth at a hundred. Nice OTT sound. So that's that. And then I put in a blood overdrive the sound. Then I cleaned up quite a bit of the sound. I did this weird EQ. And then I did this EQ to clean up some highs. Cause that is just producing a lot of highs. What it comes down to is I'm really just pushing this sound a lot. So like this is without it. It's got that like nice kind of bass to it. Now we can build the temple. I'm doing this style of make a one shot, add delay, give it space, and create that like deep sense to it, right? So I put it at 130. Now there's other ways to make deep dub for sure, but this is the style I really like and I resonate with. I put 130. You can do kind of anything you want. When it comes to it, maybe like in the 100 range or the 170 range, I would just be a little careful. Um, and you're just going to have to like process it differently. And you might have, I don't know, play around with it. And uh, yeah, just automate it. And you can get some really cool results. Thing, you know, I don't really try to go too much and just like crazy sub arrangements. I just want that like nice. It's really it of this sound. And then it goes into, after that, I go into a variety of. And I did actually a video on this. So like when I do these, um, there's an Edison video right there you can check out too. And then I switched up this hit. It's the same sound, pretty much. And yeah, it's literally the same sound. Maybe I, uh, I added like a little down sample onto it and then didn't change the refurb at all. I just added some down sample. It's, this is the same sound, pretty much. Technically, this is kind of the same sound. It's the same analog. Um, I think I just changed the reefer a little bit. Yeah, it's on the same thing, too. But what I did here is the FX. So how it's getting this really nice tonal thing instead of, like, you know, that raspy stuff, is I went to ring. Now, ring is very violent sometimes, so you make you want to make sure you have a nice kind of sound to maybe do it. You're going to get some really cool results. Um, you can you can copy that if you want. And then, then I go into more different tones throughout, and I just go into different sections. It's the same sound, right? But, yeah. And then it was, let's go into, like, the arrangement really quick. So the arrangement of this is just, it's just a little off. If I'm correct, I go into like 1 16th, and then it's just like 1 16th off pretty much. And then, then I put this one off just a little bit, just to mess with the flow a little bit, you know? And it's, that's pretty much just the whole vibe. They're just off a little bit. One, I put another one off a little bit. You know? When it comes to the background, I really did want to fill it up a lot. So impact there. Bayonetta samples in there. And then... I kind of did some refurbing stuff. I put that low in the background. Just kind of give it that nice deep dub vibe. So that's that. And then we have some of these. But these are stretched in a weird way. And then this one says headshot, right? But when they're like not stretched, this is what they sound like. Oh yeah, yeah. It says gotcha, but it kind of sounds like headshot. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, give it a sub, recommend it to a friend. Have a great day. Peace out.